Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in today. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna do a Temu, Timu, the Moo haul. Um, looks like some home decor and some other items. You know me, super random hauls. <laughs> um, I wanna give a big, big shout out to my friend April over at Menopause and Ma Madness. Today is her big 50th birthday, so. Happy birthday, April. Um, I hope you have a super awesome birthday. Everybody, please go check her out. She has two channels, um, which they are in my community tab. I shouted her out for her birthday, so most of you probably watch April. But her Timu hauls are on Menopause and Madness, and she has another channel, which is really awesome. It's called It's a Mystery, and she opens up, like, mystery letters and mystery unboxings. It's a really cool channel. So go over there and check her new channel out as well. So we're going to do a little Timu haul today. Um, let me wipe off my glasses. I got these glass wipes on Timu, and I love them. <clears throat> and I buy all my readers off Timu, too. So, yeah. But I bought a pack of these, so they're in one of my past hauls. If you guys are interested, maybe go back and see those so okay let's put our spectacles on and let's see what we got so um i'll tell you what let's let me start with this because i got this from the local warehouse um it looks like this this was about 22 bucks i didn't put a price on it um because i know it's like around 20 it's fluctuating right now because i went back to look for it again and it's kind of fluctuating between like 21 and 25 bucks so what they are are is there nails in here no there's no screws or anything with these unless they're in this package but they're like cor corbel 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 how do you say that word corbel i don't know tomato tomato um but they're wooden little shelves and they're like a white distressed type of shelf that um does the top paint it or no the top isn't really painted but who really cares you know but they're like white distressed and you get a set of them um, I love these. I love these on a wall, like with like some candles or something on them. Like in, you know, fall time, you could put like a nice big, um, display with some leaves coming out. Yeah, these would be great, like on the side of a picture or something. And then on the back, there's a place to hang, hang it. Um, they don't weigh too much, so I could probably use command hooks with these, but I love these. So you get the set for like 22-ish bucks between 22 25 but I really love these. I love anything that looks like old and distressed. So you can see the paint job on them is like, you know, old and distressed looking. I think they're awesome. Um, I will be hanging those up probably tonight. Love these. But I thought for like 22 bucks that I didn't think that was a bad price from local warehouse. <clears throat> Usually the local warehouse stuff to me tends to be a little bit more expensive, but... I didn't think that was a bad deal. Okay, so then the next thing I got is four of these. I think I was going to use these outside or in some greenery. Guys, this bag, like, I don't even know what's in this bag. This is, like, literally a mystery for both of us because I've had this bag for a while. So I have four of these. They are, like, a fake rosemary. They are $2.78 for each bundle. Let me cut these open and I'll show you. They are flocked, so they have like a little bit of a white cast to them, which I buy most of my florals with a white flocking just because I think they look more, well, it kind of depends on the season. Like I like flocked in the winter time, but I also kind of like it in the summertime because it gives it like a more soft kind of look. But so yeah, when you open these, you're going to get flocking literally everywhere. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to try and open them like, can you guys hear the cat? He's crying. Hear him? So this is what it looks like kind of zhuzhed out. Um, but yeah, it's just like rosemary. Um, but yeah, they're really, they're really nice. I don't know if they're worth 278, but I like the flocking and now I've got it all over my hands. Next up is, this must be makeup light feather smart mascara oh i think i wanted to try this because guys i always fall for that like if you see something on like i don't know why i do this instagram tiktok facebook and you're like oh i want to try that um so i don't know if you guys have seen the ones for that steel tube mascara it's like a steel tube so i've 
I fell for it and bought one of those. And then I thought to myself, oh my gosh, they probably have that on Timu. The same thing for the same price. So I think I paid, did I get two tubes? I can't remember. But these two tubes were $314 and I can tell you I paid way more than that for it. But I wanted to try it um, because I fall for stuff like that. <laughs> Sometimes, and I'm like, I have the finest lashes, which is why I wear lashes all the time. Um, but I thought, man, it'd be nice to find a mascara that actually does what it says it does. Well, the Steel Tube Mascara, I think, is a little bit of a fad. I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Let me look at it. Or maybe this... Is it? I don't know. I don't know if this is, like, Steel Tube. I think they lied to me. Light Feather Smart Eye Black. I don't, I think it's supposed to be mascara, but it's not a steel tube like the one that I have. The one that I bought, it's actually a steel tube, but this is like more of a plastic tube. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't, it's definitely not steel. Uh, yeah, I don't, I think I kind of got gypped. I think I thought that's what it was or that's what it looked like in the picture. I don't know. I'll go back and see what exactly they said it was, but... Yeah, I don't know. It says, like, live you something or another. I don't know. Light Feather Smart Eye Black. I thought it was that Steel Tube Mascara, but it's not. So, a little bit bummed about that because I'm pretty sure that that's what I thought that it was. So, that kind of sucks. Um, but I'll check. Maybe I misread it because I, I, I see something and then I don't read the listing or the measurements. And then I get excited and I turn it down here okay next I got one of these like little ghost um it's like a car air freshener kind of thing and it comes with this little it says tropical I think it's supposed to say like tropical but it doesn't but it's like a little a couple little tablets and so this is these for this is really cute I like what that ghost looks like it's like kind of boho but you take this and you slide it on and so it's got like you know the uh, vent clip and then you open this little packet up and by the way ooh, I don't know if I want this in my car I don't know if I want this in my car it kind of smells a little manly but it's yellow it, it does smell a little manly but it's got some citrus to it but you just slide it in this little hole right here and then you you know hook it to your vent and then it's supposed to Put some scent in. I don't know. I don't really like the smell of this, but I, I can, you know, you could get these little pads probably off of Timu and then put your own scent on it. I like to use pink zebra scents because I'm a pink zebra rep and they are non-toxic and to pets and people. So I kind of like to use those because I don't know what is in this scent pad. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, like who knows? So I probably won't use the scent pads, but if I find a little like cotton pad or something, I could put it in there and Pink Zebra has like a um, diffuser oil that they sell that's non-toxic, so I'm probably going to use that instead. But I think this ghost is adorable. It's a little bit Halloween-y, but that's okay. It's all right. Okay, next up is this item. It says Gradient Pink for $3.56. Oh, this is a, um, this is a atomizer for your perfume. Look at this thing, y'all. Whoa, look at that whoa that's amazing uh, amazing look at that so you get the little like pipette I can't I'm out of focus hold on there we go and then they even give you extra pieces that go on this so if you lose a piece and glue so that's freaking amazing 356 for this but it's just you know for your spray perfume um, does this come out? Yeah, it's got like this little tube on the inside, but how pretty is this? They had this in all kinds of different colors, but this just goes down in here, but how pretty. I love that. Look how sparkly. Yes, I love it because you're just out and like ch -ch 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 -ch, being all bougie with your perfume. Three fifty six for that. Super cute. I love that they give you the extra tabs with it. Okay, next up, I'm glad I finally opened these. I've been waiting for these. These are $5.99. They are earbud things. I, I bought these before on Timu, and it looks like they're <laughs> charged up. They're blinking. But I love these. I love these. I, I need a pair for work, so I think that's why I got these. But you get the little charge cord, and then here's the earbuds, wireless earbuds. 
and the case is the charger so um this little strap goes on the top somewhere i know because i have it on my other ones but i'll maybe i gotta open it first but the earbuds like sit inside this case and you just pull them out if i can get them out because i have my nails on hold on hold on i think you pull them forward yeah you pull them forward to get them out and then this probably needs charged up because normally like a number would show up here that shows like how much charge is left so yeah i don't know i don't remember where this goes i do not know i'll figure it out though eventually but here's what the earbuds look like you know they're just wireless earbuds nothing nothing too special there you know but i love the case because the case you charge up the case and it charges them and then this is a little strap but i don't know where the heck it goes i don't know i know i have it at work so i know i have it on the other but i love them they're like little you can put them in your pocket or whatever but three five ninety nine sorry these are five ninety nine but they're well worth five ninety nine Okay, next is this item, Eyebrow Pen Shyla Beauty Super Fine Water Eyebrow Pencil in Brown. Comes in this package. It was a dollar three. Wow, that's a bargain. Dollar three for this. And I don't know if you guys can even see the writing on that. It's like, it is super fine. Let's see how it writes. Mm, it's a little too light for me, to be honest. It's very light. Maybe I need to, it's super duper light. Like, look at that. I don't even know if you can see it. That's how light it is. It's hard for me to see. I need to do better lighting in here because my, my area has kind of shifted around and I think there's not enough light coming this way, but I don't even know if you could see those hair strokes on there. If you can, they're like right here, but you can barely see them. So I think this is, a, I should have got a darker color, but I could still use this. I mean, I just, I usually, um, stamp my eyebrows on and then I'll do some hair strokes like in this area just kind of make them look a little bit more real so I could still use it it won't be a huge deal okay I got some of these and I bought like some magnetic closures before for necklaces and stuff but I was watching Faith's champagne no Faith's hold on hold on Faith hold on Faith's champagne taste on a beer budget the other day and she had bought like a set of these and she made a good point which i know the other set i bought was not like this but so here's the magnet and you know it pulls apart i know you could probably barely see it see it but on the end of these is like a little clasp and the other ones i bought don't have that clasp so you know if you don't have the clasp you have to figure out how to put it on your necklace or whatnot you know but yeah they're they're really nice they come apart and go together really well and they feel pretty strong so i'm gonna use these on probably like bracelets or necklaces and so i got the silver pack and you get 12 of them but they're 487 so you know i don't know that seems like a lot but i don't know is it isn't it who knows okay so i saw <laughs> i was watching um hey everybody and it was funny because she had this exact thing she hauled it like a couple weeks maybe not even a couple weeks ago but it, I paid $8.54 for it. I'm not, I don't think she paid that much for hers. But it's a ring case. And I'm like, I need I need me that. So $8.54 for this. It's just like a black case. It feels kind of like matte. It's got a really nice zipper closure on it. So you unzip it. And you open it up. And then it's got all of this space for rings. It can hold like a ton of rings. Like so many rings in here so i'm gonna put all my rings in here and then it's nice because you can close it up and then you don't have to worry about your rings getting dust on them or anything like that so yeah i really like that i think it's pretty nice pretty nifty so yeah i like it i don't know if it's worth eight bucks but i like it it'll be handy okay here's another one of those eyebrow pens i hope i got a darker color what color is this brown dark brown oh good jen finally I'm going to draw on this hand this time and see see if it you can see it better. But it's it's a very sharp point on there. Very tiny point, which is great for the hair strokes. So let's see here. We'll go over here. Oh, yeah, this one's much darker, but it's more of like an auburn kind of color. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit of a red tinge to it, which, you know, that's fine, honestly. But... Yeah, you can make like little hair strokes so that's pretty nice 
I like the way it looks. I just have to get the right color. You know what I mean? Narrowing down the right color is the hard part. I definitely could use that. It dries down really fast. So yeah, I really like that. I like that one. I think Gigi got these. I think that's why I bought them. They were a buck three um, from Gigi's Craft and Hauls. Go check her channel out too. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw her and I'm like, ooh, I need to get those. So yeah, let's dig deep here. There's a couple big boxes, so there might not be much left in here. Okay, this is like a bow headband. <laughs> I thought it looked adorable on the girl, so I hope it looks like half as adorable on me. It was $3.98, and I know I bought like a couple of these, so maybe there's another one in here. Let me let me dig deep. Yeah, there's a black one. Okay, so I got black, and then this beige color, which they're calling beige. <laughs> they called it beige for a change. They actually called it what, it's, what it is. Okay, let me figure out how to get in here. So they're both $3.98. Where is the opening? I have the hardest time finding the opening to these sometimes. Okay, this is really cute on. I, I mean, the girl looked super cute with it on. So it's got like this big bow. I'm afraid I'm gonna look like a two-year-old. That's my fear. That's my fear, but here's the front of this. I mean, how cute is like a big bow like that? Like stinking adorable, right? And then the back is kind of pleated with some shearing. So that'll go on like your back and like the nape of your head. But it's really cute. I think you can pull this bow tighter. But it's not, it's like not super duper like a bow, but really cute. I don't know, you guys. I mean, I will wear it with a headband wig. And they're really nice quality. And they're very soft and very stretchy. And I like that they're thick. Um, because I have very fine, thin hair. And so I'm thinking I can wear these to bed at night. Like when I take my wig off at night. I don't have a lot of hair. So I think I'm going to wear this like at night over my head when it's like cold out but I don't know if it'll stay on my head you know what I mean like when I'm sleeping so I don't know so there's the beige one and the, I just thought they were cute like the the girl in the picture looked stinking adorable which by the way if you don't know I will have all the links below uh look in my comment section I'll pin a comment and show you uh or yeah show you I'll pin a comment um down there with all with like a link to my cart but yeah, here's the black one, so it's harder to see the bow on this. Sorry, Kermit's, Kermit's into something over there, if you can hear him. Um, whoops, I almost dropped it. So there's, there's like the bow part. But I love how thick these are. I love that, so. Hey, Delilah. Little Delilah's finally up here. Hi, Delilah. She doesn't come down here very often. Hey, girl. Okay, next up eyeshadow stick we know i love the eyeshadow sticks okay i am a sucker for an eyeshadow stick this was a dollar 97 okay it says four in one multifunctional hmm interesting let's see what she looks like out of the package it's always a package within a package within a package the cats are like into the bags i know you guys might not be able to hear it, but so I think my idea with these is that I love having like all the colors in one spot that I need to use. You know what I mean? So I feel like if you buy something like this and you're kind of a newbie at eyeshadow, then these would be great to get because you're going to get all the colors you need to create like a look. So let's see what they look like. This one, this color is very light. It's like a gold it's like a gold, um, where is it? It's like right here. Sit towards the light. There's like a, it's very light. So that's great because that's a good inner corner color. Oh, let me get this. Oh, they twist. Okay, they twist. They twist apart. Actually, let me just do all of them. So the second one's a matte shade. So there's some glitz. So there's some shimmers and some mattes, which is nice. That looks like another matte shade. These are really nice. And then the darker one is actually they're creamy but there's three mattes and then the first one is kind of a shimmer i would say so here they all are um they're nice they're really nice but these are really nice because then you don't have to wonder what what colors do i pick to go together you know what i mean they're all there you know you this could be like a good it's going to be your inner corner and then you go outward darker, you know? So yeah, those are really nice. I like the colors. Actually, this last shade down here looks kind of shimmery, doesn't it? It's got like a little bit of a, 
shimmer like these two end ones are shimmers and then these two middle ones seem to be mattes so awesome i really like that i might try that tomorrow i like that okay i have no idea what's in this box what is this oh what i buy what did i buy i think this is like some type of a under desk thing i was gonna put it i was gonna put this on my desk um like where I do my makeup, but I don't think it's going to work there because there's like a little bit of a shelf. Like, how do I explain this? Under my desk, there's like a part that comes down and I, I feel like it'll get in the way of this. So I might take this to work instead and put it there because I don't have a drawer under my desk of all things. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So yeah, it's like a drawer that slides. So you would put like sticky tabs right here. Um, and then stick it to the bottom of your desk and then it'll slide out and you can put like pens, pencils or whatever, you know, whatever, really makeup brushes, makeup, but they give you these three sticky things, um, some directions if you want, you could probably screw this into, but I would not, no, I wouldn't do that. That's why they give you the sticky things. So the sticky things will go like right here and then it's just, it's literally just a drawer that you can pull out. But I kind of wanted it for underneath my makeup desk, but that's not, it's not going to work there for me. So this is going to go to work with me and it'll be a great place for all my pens, pencils, notepads, and things like that because I don't have a drawer under my desk of all places. <laughs> when I moved into my new office, I got somebody else's desk, you know, the girl that was there before me, and she didn't, there's no drawer under there. I like having a drawer like right under where I sit, you know, so yeah, this will come in handy there. So that's where, oh, I didn't even say how much this was. It was $10.90 for this. $10.90 for that. Okay, next are these suction cups. I like to get these, um, so come winter time, if you want to hang wreaths or like candles in your windows or something, I'm always looking for these. So it's four sixty four dollars for 12 and they're just literally suction cups with little hooks on them so yeah that's all they are <laughs> so instead of 12 of those for 464 okay a bunch of stuff fell out of there okay let's go to this next a ring this ring is also timu i got it like a while ago and it's stretchy i love it i wear it all the time and the cats are like what happened everything fell so this was a dollar 98 and it looks it looks like a dollar 98 i won't lie um okay so it's pretty though it's got, um, so it's two pieces and there's, there, the middle stone is probably supposed to be like a CZ, but it's more like blue. But somebody had told me, um, in the comments section that fake CZs often look like they have a bluish tint to them. So didn't know that, but it's two pieces and then it's silver, but there's some rose gold to it. So hopefully my camera will focus on it. I'm sitting so far back now, guys. I gotta rearrange this somehow. But let me try it on. I'm 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 not used to this setup I have now, so but this is what it looks like on. It's really pretty. It's prettier than I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, it was a dollar ninety-eight. So not bad. Here comes Kermit getting into the bags. Okay, another ring. This is a clad all, it was a dollar forty-eight. It's rose gold. Yeah, I, when I broke my tripod, I got a new one and I can't put it like on my table. So it's a lot farther away. This one's really pretty. Um, so this one, what I say it was? $1.48. I like this one much, much better. That's what it looks like. Hopefully it zoomed in and I'll put it on my, let me put it this way so you guys can see it this way. Really pretty. I think it's gorge. I like it. It's very sparkly, really pretty, really, really pretty. Okay. Let's see what this is. Is it another ring? No. <laughs> Let's, but it's another ghost. This is another car ghost thing, like the other one I showed you. It's just a different ghost, so I'll show you the ghost. The rest of the package is the same, but it looks like this. It's a little ghost, and he's carrying some <laughs> pumpkin spice lattes and all kinds of different boba tea or whatever, but yeah, how adorable is that? So I thought they would be cute in my car. All right, next is a pair of earrings. I thought these were really cool looking. They were $1.79. Are they plastic? Yes, they are. Um, so they are dangly earrings and they're like pink 
leaves, I guess. Would you, is that what you call those? Leaves? Pink leaves? I don't know. They're really, they're like acrylic plastic, but, and then they've got like just a hoop, like a mini hoop. I'm so sorry for the glare. I don't know which way to go because I feel like I need to move my lighting. So hopefully you can see that. It's like a little hoop. But I thought they'd be really pretty. I love black and pink and white and all of that. So I just thought they would be really pretty. Yeah. So those were, I think these came in different colors. They were $1.79. And let's see what this is. $5.99. It says silvery rose gold. And this looks like a watch. Yes. This is really pretty. Um, I think it might be a dupe for something, but I'm not sure. But it was $5.99 if I didn't say that. But this is really nice. I mean, really nice. I mean, look at this. Look at that. So pretty. Very, very nicely made. It's heavy. They've got it covered in like a uh, plastic so it doesn't get scratched, which is very nice. And then it opens right here like that. Yeah, I only want to take the plastic off because if it, it's on there, you know. I might give this away for a gift or something, but there's something on the, oh, it looks like there's something on the watch face, but it's actually, there's plastic covering the watch face too. So how cool is that? I love that. It's really nice. Really a nice timepiece. Very nice. I mean, super nice. Dang, I really like that. $5.99 for that. Really nice. Okay, and last but not least, certainly not least, let me take this ring off, is this, and I have no idea what it is, it was $13.99. What did I spend $13.99 on? Medium? It says medium sized. So yeah, $13.99? Yikes. <laughs> the cats are playing on the stairs. They like to play, they like to chase each other up and down the stairs. All right, $13.99 for this. What could it be? Is it another drawer? Oh my gosh, you guys, I think it is. Is it? Why did I get two of these? I must have got two sizes of that drawer. So this is the medium size. But they look the same. They look about the same. So I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, this one slides out same. Only it's got different compartments. The other one didn't. And it has glue glue and some kind of strip so i don't know i don't know if i glue this but yeah it's another under desk organizer you glue the top of this under your desk then it slides out 13.99 i don't know guys i don't know at least it's not broke so there's that but yeah it comes with this like glue and then these this strip of stuff i'm not sure about that i might use like uh alien tape or something but I'm not going to glue anything to my desk at work. Like, absolutely not. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. All the links will be down below in the comment section. I'll pin a comment down there if you want if you want a uh, link to any of this stuff. If there isn't an item in that cart, it means it's either sold out or discontinued, which sucks, but it happens. So, All right. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.